All right, exclusive twist on why he left phase. Second thoughts, declining vitality, part one. Twist decided to leave phase before the resurgence since CS2 and was caught in an emotional roller coaster during his final weeks with the team. Yeah, he announced his departure, finally brought an end to the saga. I'm going to kind of skip through some of this just because I think it's a little bit more obvious. There was lack of communication for about a month. By the time there was an answer, I was already in pretty deep talks with Vitality and Liquid. Yeah, I mean, I imagine because this is around the time they were getting bought out, right? That's like the timeline. So when his contract and the renegotiations were up, like phases and entity was just completely in a weird fucking spot. It revealed that he had Vitality. That's interesting that Vitality hit him up. Who did, uh, why am I? Oh, instead of Mezzi. Interesting. This interview was conducted before Twist officially left phase. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So this is him talking before they had lost as well in the final. I'm glad they added that. Let's talk about the departure from phase. First of all, this team, you spent almost three years on, had a lot of success, even keep having success now. So tell me about the decision to move away from all that. Yeah, see, this is, I feel like it got sparked because phase was lacking st starting negotiations. That's actually crazy. So they literally let his contract go all the way and then they didn't then they wanted to see but this is i just mm. they let us contract that that's really rare like yeah if you're gonna resign and that shit ain't happening like normally if you want to resign like that shit's done months sometimes like six months in advance actually no i know one player that they re-upped their contract like a whole year early so his contract technically ended in september Coming from liquid to phase, negotiations usually start six, yeah, six, yeah, 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 six, even seven months in advance, see? One week before my contract was ending, there's a lack of communication for about a month, and within that, like two weeks in, I told phase, man, I have team offers coming in, I didn't know what's happening, am I still here or what? By the time there was an answer, I was already in pretty deep talks with liquid and vitality. Sometimes I'd have doubts, I'd want to check in, can I call cancel this, how committed am I? My decision was made before Cindy, obviously, because my contract negotiations were happening, yeah, I mean... And this is kind of what I was explaining in one of my YouTube videos where like, so I didn't have it exactly right. I thought it was because like, who knows what's going on with phases and org. I mean, I guess this kind of is like that, but not as clear cut. But man, like if you don't know if you're going to get re-signed or you don't know what's going on with your contract, you don't just can hang out for, you know, you have to like make a decision. There's people offering you stuff like. There's opportunities out there. And what are you supposed to do? Just sit there with your dick in your hand? Played a Counter-Strike together in pretty much every level. So I'm going to hold this specific team close for a long time. And I'm not planning on losing any of the friendships that I've made here. So he'd already committed to Liquid before they kind of went on their CS2 terror. The night before the semifinal, I'm told I have to make a decision before 5 a.m. And I'm sitting outside of the hotel. It's 4 a.m. And I'm having a super deep conversation with myself. That's wild, bro. That's actually fucking wild. It's been an emotional roller coaster for sure. Many conversations with my fiance has been... And pillar of that, I have nothing against the org. It's always the, it wasn't always the best relationship, but at the end, I understand how they work and said they were going to improve everything as long as the people that came after me and the people are still there getting better experience. Than I know that's all that matters to me. Twist is just too nice. Homie's basically saying they fucking jerked him around and he's hoping it's better for everybody else. Like, hopefully nobody experiences what I did, but no, no resentment. You were making the final call in the middle of Sydney, right? To give my 100% commitment before Sydney ended, I remember this was the night, I think. Ultimately, I chose Liquid, and then there, it was tough, not gonna lie. I told them it was pretty committed before that event. I was mentally not decided for a long time. I was gonna go off gut feeling on, dude, that's, yeah, that's kind of, that's that's quite the pickle, man. Game score acquisition really played a factor, yeah. No, I, I still don't know what's going on there. I don't think anybody does. I, what is going on? Why? The same time, I won't speak for everyone, but some contracts on my team were very fresh. Long contracts that were committed again. And I was told that if I re, uh, re-signed the price of the team, it would spike exponentially. Oh, man. Remember I heard, man, that's a steep number for an org to invest in. Yeah, I see. Okay. You saw... When Gambit sold their roster for under a million, bro, I think we would be like 10 times that. It's just hard to imagine that an org would pay that. No, exactly. Once again, kind of talk about what I was saying before, which is if FaZe was going to, if their plan is to sell off the whole roster as a package, like, and Twisted resign, I, me lowballing, me lowballing, I think an org would have to have 3 million instantly, like up front, like, just to acquire the team and just to like have them for a little while. Like, it, it's, I mean, and Twist isn't dumb. Like, he's thinking the same thing. Like, there's no way you, like, if you're, if you're in this shit, there's no way you're not considering that. You have to think about that. Yeah, dude, homie, Twist is literally watching my YouTube 
reacts channel i swear to god what the i mean it's just the logical shit though that's not like i'm some genius he's just thinking the same shit everybody is <clears throat> you're talking about the doubts before i can imagine it's pretty tough seeing the success that you have now and heading into a completely new project everything starts clicking perfectly for phase and he's on the way out that's gotta feel brutal gotta be the most bittersweet feeling ever right you're like all right fuck it. i'm gonna go with liquid i you know it's a tough choice i really want to stick with the team but i don't know what's going on with phase Oh, by the way, we're just kind of winning now. Like, we're maybe the best team in CS2, but I'm already committed to Liquid. Oh, dude, at the end of the Vitality conversation, Apex did say that they would have shifted positions for me, but I'm not trying to go somewhere where I f*** up the system. I think that's smart. That's actually when I when I saw the Vitality mention, I was really confused because I was like, Twist does not play Pit. I think this actually works. For Vitality and for Twist, I completely agree. I think this... Apex is not a f***ing Pit player or an anchor, dude. You would not, dude, could you imagine Apex in pit with his energy? Oh my god. Dude's full golden retriever. They tried to do that. Um, who was it they added where they started to put Apex in more of the anchor positions, like ramp on nuke? And he, <laughs> dude, he was such a liability. Oh, he could not do it. So yes, I think this is a phenomenal. Uh, agreed. Talking about that about Vitaly, I'm sure people question why not join a team has so much future in players like Zywo and Sphinx and it's already set up for you to join and be able to continue their success. No, exactly. Like, Magus is literally just arguably the best anchor in the game. Probably, no, he is, I think. I think he is. He's undeniably. I think just like, like the role that he fills is insane. I'm just sorry. I'm kind of scanning through this just because I think some of it's like, you know, things that we've heard before or kind of already know. Good to see that he has like such a big outlook for his career because dude he has been playing since he's like fucking 16 how old is twist right now hold on he's 24 bro that's actually wild how do you feel see people call it for you not to go <laughs> they're telling him to stay i feel like this has got to feel a little shitty for the liquid to see this but i'm glad it's like out there hopefully because like you could take this as like dude like imagine being on liquid it's like dude he, just, fuck, he doesn't want to be here i'm not saying they will and i'm i definitely don't think anybody's gonna like resent him for it i just think it I'm just glad this is out there, but yeah, I know how people on the internet are. This has got to be the most wholesome departure of a team I think we've ever seen.